Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some uh, extra code to this project in my own branch. So if you've been following along, I've downloaded a project called Lion. Uh, if I look at my branches in Git, I'll have, I've just created one a minute ago, press create. Um, let's just have a look at the branches. So we've got like a master and a student two. You can see I'm on student two because it's highlighted in blue. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some additional text here. been freezing a little bit I have to try this again no nope, apologies it's been doing this a few times I'm just gonna have to close it and open it again but essentially what I've been doing is uh, what we're going to do in this video is um, I'm going to create a branch and I'm going to upload my version of the project to the repo that we're we're, we're both sharing me and my partner okay so I'm gonna do a p tag yep and I'm gonna grab um, some Laura Mipsum that'll do so I'm gonna add some text on the home page uh, I'm also going to save that I'm going to add a contact form so let's just do a PHP file I'm going to do contact and I'm going to press finish let's just go and grab some HTML from somewhere contact there you go uh, okay come back to the page here so I've got a new page and I've got some check I've got some additions to the index page so what I want to do now is press save uh, I also want to commit those changes uh, up to the git repository well into the git repository I should say um, added contact form and text on home page uh, I don't want those two guys and let's press commit so that's now in my local repository in my branch, okay? What I wanna do is I wanna push this up to the remote once it's actually allowing me to. So git remote push. So um, I'm pushing it up to student one uh, lion git. That's the one I want, so press next. Uh, what I wanna do is just do student two, if it will let me, I'm having this issue where kind of freezing okay good so I don't want the master untick that um, there's only changes in student 2 branch the the master branch hasn't been changed so that's why it's got this a here so I'm gonna do next yep I'm gonna press okay ah, okay I have to do my password for student user 2 um, that guy there I'm gonna press okay Uh, it gives me this message like, do you want to track the remote branch? Of course I do, because I want to see the changes um, and check that they're the same in the remote. That should be got, that should be done now. So I've um, effectively pushed that up and now I'm getting a pull request message on here. Now, I think you'll see that uh, this is student two. So uh, both um, student one and student two can merge files. However, you might want to just allocate one person the task of doing the merging. Um, student one, if I refresh this, doesn't see the same merge request uh, or the pull request that we see here, but um, they can, if they wish to, um, see um, the pull request. So what we would do is, is it a new pull request? We would come down to here and it would just say, look, there's um, some, uh, this looks like there's a new branch up here. Uh, do you want to compare the master with this other branch? So I'm gonna compare student two with that. So let's just say there's a contact form has been added and it's um, completely fine and, and been tested and I'm happy with this. So I'm the originator of the, of the repo and I'm in charge of making sure all the code gets put in correctly. It says, yep, it's able to merge because there's no conflict. So the uh, the 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 code is not written on the same lines as the as the master as the stuff that was it was it was kind of cloned from okay so what happens is now I create a pull request uh, git checks the files and and all I do now is I just do a merge pull request confirm merge and then what happens now is if I go back to uh, Lion as the repo you'll see now that the master, right, I'm on master, 
and those new files like the contact.php page is uh, there, okay? And let's go back one. Uh, yeah, so basically um, student user one has successfully merged that branch of student two into the master and uh, we're good to go on. So um, that's how you would uh, set up a new branch uh, based on a pool that you've put, like a, a clone that you've pulled all the files from, uh, push them up to that repository and how you would deal with um, using that compare and pull request. Now, obviously now that I've, student user one has, has, has dealt with that, pull request this is like disappears from student two but student two could if he was confident or she was confident enough could have dealt with that and pushed it into the master okay but it's probably better for continuity that one person is responsible for going through all of the pull requests so um, the way you get to there is just to go to new pull request there okay